Hey guys, this is Cameron Bowling from Hutchinson, Kansas. Next Saturday, we'll be fighting for Evolution Fighting Championship 4, which is owned by Bellator fighter David Rickles out of Wichita, Kansas. And I'll be fighting Travis Weatherford. Travis stepped up on three weeks notice after I had an opponent change. About a week, week and a half, of, I couldn't find an opponent. So Travis stepped up to the plate and saved the fight. So I got to thank him initially. I know he's a down and game opponent. And I respect that of Travis. I'm ready for that. From the footage that I have found online of him, which is very minimal, I found that he's a strong wrestler-based fighter. Just like myself, I'm a wrestler. I'm a BJJ artist. And that's what I like. I like this fight to be on the ground. I'll strike, I'll bang, and I'll clinch against the fence. But it, overall, my goal is to take this fight to the ground and submit to you. I do know that his striking is real loose and wild, and he tends to rush a little bit. So I'm going to take full advantage of that. I took some time off, heel and shoulder injury. I had a knee injury that I kept getting nagged by in training here and there that hold me up when I was fighting, uh, preparing for camps. So I took that year and a half, got my weight under control, managed it a little bit better, didn't balloon up to the 180, 190 like I normally do. So I could fight at a lower weight that I've always wanted to fight at. I've always wanted to fight at 125. This is my last fight. Um, I've always wanted to fight close to home, as 90% uh, of my fights have happened in New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts area. With that being said, I am looking for the finish. I'm going to go out there in devastating fashion. I push the pace. I look for the finish from bell to bell. Um, I don't fight for the judges. I fight for the fans. But I have the advantage against the fence, uh, clinch work, cage control. I also believe that I'm the dominant wrestler and BJJ guy. Um, I think that he is not going to be able to take me down or uh, really get the finish on the ground when we do get there. As I'm going to be looking for stuff off of my back and on, on when I'm on the top. Um, he's probably going to have a little bit of strength advantage, maybe. I am dropping from normally fighting at 145 to 155, so we'll see if my power and strength carries over down to the 125 pound division. I know he's farm boy strong, country strong. Um, I prepared for that, but I'm also a strong opponent. I think our striking evenly matched again. I think that I'm a little bit tighter and crisper. And like I said, I have that power. Um, he's an aggressive fighter, I'm an aggressive fighter, but I think Saturday night, I will be the dominant fighter and I will come out with my hand raised. Just remember, it's position before submission. And he can work all he wants. I'm going to be fighting off my back and when I'm on top. Raining down punches, waiting for him to open up. That first mistake, I'm taking it. I'm taking an arm, leg, neck, whatever I need to take to get this W. So as most people know, I usually fight at 155. So this weight cut's been long. The fight was originally supposed to happen in August. That got pushed out to October, which gave me an advantage of being able to get down to a lower weight that I've never been able to get to. And walk around at a lower weight normally that I was comfortable at. With that being said, I spent hours upon hours in the gym. Treadmill, stair masters, pools, working the bag, and in my gi. So I've envisioned this fight over and over and over again. Three weeks ago, my opponent changed. But my game plan didn't change. My drive didn't change. Nothing changed about my training. I didn't take a day off. I knew I'd find an opponent. Whether I had to go up to 135 or up to 145, it didn't matter to me. I knew I was going to fight October 1st for Evolution Fighting Championship 4. With that being said as well, I've seen this fight being finished. I'm not going to say I'm going to finish it in the first round, second round, third round, but this fight will be finished. There's not going to be a feeling out process. as long as There shouldn't be. More than 10 seconds, let's touch gloves, let's not touch gloves. I don't care. Either way, we're going to fight. I like to get to work in there, get in, get out, let's get it over with. But this time I'm going to be more relaxed. I'm going to control my breathing, and I'm going to make sure that I'm in a position before I hit the submission. We're not in there to run. We're in there to bang. We're in there to fight. We're in there to wrestle, grapple, clinch, whatever we need to do. We're there to put on a show for the fans that paid their money to get into the fight night to see a great fight. I'm going to get the takedown. When, when I do get the takedowns, I like to hit my slams. Um, slams are the way to go. Watching Rampage, you know, when I was younger, growing up, when I started getting MMA, that's what I like. I like to see him slam. 
gets the crowd going. You can hear him. Gets him just gets him going, fired up. I'm going to hit that takedown, and I'm going to work that submission. Expect fireworks, and the judges aren't going to be needed. Again, I say, the judges will not be needed. I'd like to thank all of my teammates here at Fox Fitness in Wichita, Kansas, A-Force BJJ, for helping me get prepared for this fight and this weight cut. Also, my other training partners here in Hutchinson, Kansas, that have been working on my striking as well. During this final last couple weeks, we've really turned it up. I'd like to shout out to Reno Chiropractic and Centers and Saints Tattoo out of Wichita, Kansas. Reno Chiropractic, they kept me in line. They kept my back in shape, my hips in shape. And Centers and Saints have always supported me and various BJJ fighters throughout a couple years. Their continued support for me is huge. I like to support my, friend, my friends, my family. As I know, this hasn't been the, the best weight cut. I know this hasn't been the easiest to deal with. I know you guys don't like seeing me get in the cage, but this is the last one. I had to go hard. I had to push my body to the limits. Get back to where I wanted to be and enjoy what I enjoy doing. I'd like to thank the fans. If it weren't for the fans, we wouldn't have a venue. We wouldn't have a place to fight. We wouldn't have a reason to fight. We'd still be fighting in the gyms and bar fights. Um, so we gotta thank all the fans. We gotta thank the promotions. And we gotta thank the community, the MMA community, for coming together and getting so big over the last couple of years. Please show up Saturday, October 1st, the Kansas Star. Doors open at 6. And it's going to be a heck of a show. I'm uh, ready to fight in the hometown, ready to fight here in Wichita, Kansas. Put on a show for everyone and have a good night. Good luck to all the fighters. Thank you.